Gratitude, I mean, I hate the word hack, like, oh, it's a dopamine hack or it's a serotonin. I, I don't like the word hack because A, it's disrespectful to hackers who do a real thing. Yeah. And B, a hack it implies that it's some sort of trick that you're 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 kind of gaming the system. You know, what what works is mechanism, right? Biological mechanisms were designed to work be, and they were selected for to work under variable conditions. And as you know, and I know, and we have great appreciation for the fact that the nervous system was designed to be an adaptive machine so that you don't have to sleep eight hours every night. Yeah. You can do this thing. And things like gratitude allow you to tap into chemical resources. And that's not a hack. The, the fact that being grateful for something external to the event happens to release serotonin and have a certain soothing effect or uh, dopamine and give you more epinephrine and let you go further. That's not a hack. That's actually what allowed the human machine to evolve to the point that it is now. Mm -hmm. Every time, you know, an inventor eventually created something that worked and felt great about it, you can imagine that the the first, you know, air flight felt pretty awesome and motivated those people to go on and do more. They they didn't just go, oh, you know, yawn and go have a beer. So being able to access the genuine in, internal states of gratitude and reward works. You can't trick the system. You can't pretend that you're grateful for something. But if you can identify or attach yourself to some larger goal or something that's deeply gratifying to you or place it in service to a relative that passed away that you care a lot about, that's not a hack. That's accessing the deepest components of your nervous system.